Okay, family, just another beautiful day here in the ADL. I'm here by a brother. I have a very wonderful farm. It was four acres of farm. He have greenhouses. He have lavender, lemongrass, pumpkin, squash, raspberry, blueberries. Let me show you exactly what the brother have, man. The brother, I'm here. This is what it looks like. This is part of the farm that he have. We have a lot more stuff over here. Now I don't know the names of the stuff we have because he's a farmer, as I said before, but he have, I think this is sorrel, yes. This is sorrel, see it? And it's good for high blood pressure. This is very, very good. I mean, you know when you say certain things, YouTube can tell you that you're not a doctor, so you can't say that, so. Anyway, <laughs> this is sorrel. And if you're a West Indian, you know what it's used for. I'm going to try to put his number in the bottom of this here. Or I'll repeat the number on here. Because he needs volunteers to come and help him farm the land and pick the stuff. Because a lot of folks now don't want to work. So he's looking for volunteers to come to help him to harvest the stuff. Now, as you can see, this is all sorrel. We know what sorrel is good for. Over here, you see those are greenhouses. Over here you have mint and peppers. The farm is big, you got all sorts of greenhouses. This is I don't know what it is. Oh, big different kind of peppers. Over here is all tomatoes. All here is tomatoes. This is inside of the greenhouse. Where he's growing cucumbers and all such like lettuces. This is inside the greenhouse. Like I said, you need volunteers if you're in Atlanta. All the back over there, you have more stuff in the back. So if you're in here, I'll, like I said, I'll put the number down on the bottom if you want to call to come a volunteer. This is lemongrass. I'm going to get some of this, some tea. This is strictly lemongrass right here. This is good for making some tea to clean the insides out. Over here, we have more tomatoes. The shooting you hear, the shooting that the, the shooting that you're hearing, that's people that have they shoot in the backyard. So they practice shooting in the backyard. Over here is all the man property. Over here again is all property. You have your aloe vera. We call it aloe right here. You have a lemongrass here again. You have your mint. Here, you have your lavender. Over here, man, have a big farm, man. Over here is, I don't, like I said, I don't know what the stuff you have, but uh, over here, all, all them there's all vegetables and different cabbages and lettuces, and you got your cabbage and stuff here, as you can see. You got your red and green peppers. He's put them in another, another greenhouse here to harvest more stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Over here is lavender. You have lavender and you have rosemary, as you can see. Lavender and rosemary, and that's my brother was that over there. Hickama. Hickama, okay. Um, and hibiscus over there, and some figs. You got some figs, and like you said, some hibiscus, hibiscus over there. And what's those ones over there? What's those? Okra. Oh, those are okra right over here. I didn't know what it was. Those are okra right over there. Is there flowers? Um, the name of the farm is Narrowway Narrow Farm. You can Google it. It's Narrowway Farm in Atlanta. You can Google it. 
and uh, you can come in and volunteer and help them harvest some of the stuff. It's called Nario Farm. You can Google it here. And the man got a lot of stuff, man. More peppers. Folks, I love it, man. I love to see my people doing good, man. I like, I guys love it. I give them props, man, for maintaining this farm. It's called Far Away Farm. Far Away Farm, I think. I'll get the right name for you. So you can, uh, so you can Google it. And like I said, you can come and help out, volunteer, three, four hours a day. Well, it's kind of, kind of cold now, but in the springtime or summertime, spring, sorry, in the summertime, you can come and help out. And, uh, you appreciate the help, folks, because there's a lot of work to do. Uh, like I said, these are okra. I didn't know what it was, but I've never seen okra trees. I only buy the okra from the store. So now that he's showing me that this is okra, this is what the okra look like. Okay, folks, hang on. Okay. That's the name of the farm. Narrow Way Farm. You can Google it and find out where it is. If you want to come and volunteer to help out, feel free. This is the view from this side, what it looks like. If you get a chance, support the brother. I'm here doing my best I can do, helping out. So, folks, until then, I love you guys. Peace out. One love. Loving and kind and giving and caring and humble. Respect and show gratitude. And try to do a kind deed for one person, at least one day a week. Or every day a week. Whatever you want to do, just help some person out. Be nice and kind and loving and sharing and giving and humble and gratitude. I love you, folks. Now, like I said before, I'm doing it for you guys. Until then, peace out. One love. That's the sorrow tree. And that's the sorrow. These are fig trees. Damn. I thought it was only up there. The man got all the way over here. Whoa, figs. Oh my gosh, so these are the persimmons. Like the tree when we first moved. Oh you know, man. No, no, I just got your back anyway. You got your squash, you got your... Come on, man. So they should be soft oh, some the pumpkins. Some of pumpkins, okay. And there's some butternut squash further down as well. Butternut squash further down. Folks, so man. Look at the land, folks. Look at look, look at it, folks. I mean, the brother have some serious. I mean, we know where to. Well, I'll leave that alone. This is beautiful. This is just beautiful, man. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna get some figs. And I'm good to go. Peace out, one love.